Okay, here is an intriguing new concept to the ion propulsion uh, theory and, uh, of a rotor. This, guys, is your classic. Everybody's building them now, it seems. Um, nothing more than a little tiny wire. Uh, you can kind of see it there. And uh, a capacitor plate with a rough, uh, rounded edge. And this thing really zings around. This thing weighs, overall weight is about 2.4 grams. Now, what I've got here is something entirely different. Yet the same, similar. Um, <clears throat> this one is a balanced setup, but I'm using polycarbonate. Okay, you can see the corona wire. I'm using copier corona wire um, as my emitter. The plate is embedded in the Lexan, so this thing uh, does not run on corona wind like this thing is theorized to be running on. Um, I have, this is kind of a, I had a skeptic once write uh, on the note that I'm, well, you're blowing it with a, um, compressed air or whatever. So I figured I'd uh, leave this little incense burner here to show that I am not pumping air at this thing to make it work. So, uh, here we go. I'm going to go and start this thing up. It's running on your basic uh, high voltage flyback. Uh, you can get these off eBay, no big deal. Runs over to the uh, uh, my test stand. Uh, positive goes in, bottom out, or negative out the bottom. It's all tied together using the actual axle points or the electrode con commutators, kind of like an electric motor. So, anyway. Let me turn this thing on. I'm gonna give it about whoa too much. Don't want to overdo it. Why is it drawing so many amps? Okay, we're gonna give it. On about 0.4 amps. Anything more than that, and I start getting <laughs> arcing. So, what do you notice here? This thing just self started, just like your traditional ion engine. This thing's gonna run by itself, but again, I'm pushing uh, 22, almost 25 grams uh, static weight. That's a lot of kinetic to overcome, and this thing is just pumping it right in there. No coronal wind doing this one. Uh, the propulsion uh, I'm theorizing is coming from the uh, dielec dielectric. I think the dielectric is actually pushing the uh, test fixture. can't see where coronal wind would be involved in this at all. This thing is solid state. Um, again, you can see let's get this to work a little better. Uh, incent burner or incent is not it's not being blown by any kind of external wind source. This thing is picking up and moving all on its own. And I really think it has to do with dielectric. My next, um, my next build is I'm going to make one using an exotic semiconductor material called barium titanate. Uh, right now, polycarb is what it's running as the dielectric. Uh, nothing fancy, just Lexan, polycarb, whatever you want to call it. Its dielectric constant is 2.9 to 3. Uh, this barium titanate. Its dielectric constant is 7,000 to 15,000 under certain temperature constraints. So we're going to give it the low end and call it 7,000. 
Uh, this stuff is it's exotic. It's ma they're using it now for semiconductors, making piezoelectric uh, uh, speakers and whatnot. Um, but it's available to me. I can purchase this stuff, which is kind of nice. Uh, I'm gonna buy buy some. I'm gonna build me one of these. It's a ceramic. Uh, I'm gonna build one using the barium, and we're gonna see if I can get a little more thrust out of it. Because in theory, it'll allow me to increase the capacitance of this whole setup. Uh, I really think that the dielectric is the uh, is the key to the whole uh, thrust shooting match here. Um, on a side note, Google Googled a nice. I was, I was googling trying to find a better dielectric. Um, this thing runs on dielectric of air, which is one as a stand, as a constant. Uh, we're running on a dielectric now of uh, 2.9 to 3. It's not as efficient, but this thing has 200% more mass than that thing. And it's still pumping out there pretty good. Uh, I found an old Navy manual. So the Navy published this back in the 80s, I think. Uh, it looked old. It was tied into with a bunch of old documents and whatever. But um, it goes into dielectric constants. Makes you wonder why the Navy is interested in this. Uh, it doesn't have the new exotics, this uh, barium titanate, in it. It's not in it, but polycarb and some of the uh, more common household uh, um, dielectrics are. Um, another thing I did with this setup is I used, uh, I, I insulated all the, f the stray electro um, uh, ends that I could find, that I could actually d d dope up. Um, using this. This is a Super Corona Dope. It's kind of a nice name for it, but what it is, it's a, a high voltage insulator. It's in a liquid form, you just paint it on, and it's supposed to uh, hold back up to 15,000 volts. Um, I'm not going anywhere near that. I don't think I am. Um, but anyway, put that on the loose ends of this Corona engine, and uh, that eliminated pretty good chances, any chance of it being a coronal wind propulsion. So, again, there you have it. It's running, in my theory, is it's running off the dielectric, dielectric push, push of the dielectric. Uh, lots of potential here. If I can uh, make this work, <laughs> little stink bug, <laughs> it's like, what is this? It's kind of nice. Uh, anywho, and there you have it. Pulling 0.3 amps at 14 volts to run the entire apparatus and uh, shut her down. And you'll be able to see it slowly coast to a stop. But, but the, the amazing thing is it does, it self starts, which tells me that that thing has some pretty good push. Um, I see NASA doing things with uh, ion propulsion but they're injecting a gas and creating a plasma uh, to get their their spacecraft to push. This thing has a constant push to it. If I had a way, if I had a better apparatus to measure that thrust, um, that would be the ticket. Uh, if I can, uh, eventually I will build something to do that. If I can prove to myself or to whoever that this barium titanate uh, being a higher dielectric is the key to making these things more powerful than um, I think I will build an apparatus to measure that thrust. Um, another thought is later down the road I do want to run this thing in a vacuum. Um, I have a, a vacuum chamber. <laughs> There's my lead scaling coil that's been hanging there for about five years now perpetual magnetic uh, uh, attraction but anyway that is kind of neat the way this thing works you can see it's nothing more than a piece of polycarb plexiglass the uh, plates inside it and so is the the um, emitter electrode all inside a piece of plastic, yet it still pushes. It's got to be the dielectric that does it. 
So until better materials, this is what I've got. All right. 